thing that's going to go on now, I'm going to call Pat forward, who is a uh, uh, token uh, stoker Matlow. Pat. <laughs> <laughs> and a scouser. And a scouser. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh dear. I'll hand over to you. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Pat McElhinney. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the RMA and Steve Pope in particular for allowing us to do this presentation today. I'd also like to thank Danny, our chaplain, for performing the Remembrance Parade this morning. He's done an excellent job. Today, he's going to involve Brigadier Les Brown, who'll do the presentation for us. Now, you probably wonder what the Scouts of Stoker are doing here today. <laughs> you, obviously, you obviously stole the invitation. Because <laughs> it's free food. Right. I say was, I served six years in the Royal Navy in the 80s and 90s, and then uh, I've done 27 years in the fire service before retiring a couple of years ago. First time I was able to go to London, I met up with two Royal Marine commandos, John Gillen and Gaz Riley. Ridley. 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 Okay. <laughs> See, from the get-go, we just got on like a house on fire, went down to London, got on the lash, fell over, got all our medals on, really enjoyed it. And during that time, like, John Gillen, where is he? Yeah. Take a step forward so we can see you. Step John, forward, John Gillen. John, John, come on, mate. John, John, John come, on, come here, mate. Take his beer, take his beer. <laughs> and as you do with a load of Matt Lowe's and who next to everyone else, we tell Dits, and he was telling this story about, he was one of the first of four or five commandos to land at San Carlos Bay in the Falcons and made his way all the way under fire as you were all with. And uh, when he got to Port Stanley, he got knocked over by a squad and broke his leg. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell, what a dick. <laughs> if one. <laughs> there's, more, there's more wounds. Uh, Mine's <laughs> So, during this conversation, the story was telling us about the things that matter to him and what mattered to him. Going through that, where everybody was there, the people he lost, the friends he lost, the comrades he lost, was that he had a pound note that was uh, from the Falklands. Signed by Rex Hunter, who was the governor. Governor. The governor, yeah. Right. As he's telling the story, it takes a bit of a turn. He went through a separation with his wife, and she took his medals, she took his pound note, and she thrown them in a landfill. Right. And that kind of hurt me a bit. Even the stoker could be hurt. I'm with you. So what he didn't know is I was in the Falcons in 87 and I had the pound note and I made it my absolute kind of action to kind of give him his pound note back. So what we did is we got the pound note mounted because ultimately he's lost it and it's the one thing of a, as a memento he had from that war. And he come back and I wanted to pay homage to him and every other man and woman involved in that war and every war since and every war before. So I'm here today to present John with your pound note. Uh, with interest. With interest. There's an accounting in the company. So, at the bottom of it, Go on, Pat. Go on, Pat. Keep going. Just hang on, guys. I read out. I found a poem by an American poet called Watt Whitman, which says, "Nothing is ever really lost or can be lost. No birth, no force, or any visible thing." That's for you. Oh, well done, Pat. 